from William Penn by the Kern. He was a farmer that uh, had this area back in the 1700s, and he was known for his plum tree orchard and his distillery. <laughs> Distillery is important. That was the best thing for washing the cement dirt out of your throats, you know. Good old whiskey. The Columbia Street MacArthur Road is where Winding Brook is and the Weiss Market. Right after contractors' equipment, which is a good neighbor of the trail, they donate the rental equipment to us for free or a reduced rate to do work on the trail. Right after this fence, You'll see a railroad bridge that goes across the creek, which was another siding to go to the Lehigh Port and Cement Company from the Arnton Railroad. Look quickly right here, you'll see the bridge. That's all that's left. You have to look under through the trees here. You can see the little steel girders crossing the creek. And that went over to where Weiss is, that railroad trackage, because that was the Lehigh Port and Cement Plant. Now, the cement companies and in many industries at that time had immigrant laborers working. And these laborers had nothing to start with, you know, they come across the boat. So the companies would provide the company towns. They provide the homes, the churches, the schools, the stores, the utilities, everything for their laborers. Compared to today, you can't even get a pension or life insurance or health insurance in today's company. What a, what a turnaround. They provided everything. The government didn't have to do anything for, for the citizens. The companies provided everything. Now it's just the opposite, unfortunately. Uh, the treasure of the high Point of Cement, which is founded by General Trichter, okay, down and down, he was in charge of developing the town of Stiles. Okay? So Mr. Stiles had the uh, privilege of having his name at the borough. The girl was named after Mr. Stiles. And you're driving right through downtown Stiles right now. We're coming across Park Street here. There's a contractor who built some homes here, and he donated some land for handicapped parking right next to the trail. I serve on the White House Township Recreation Commission. One of the things we do is we do all the plans for the developers who are developing in the township, whether it's a mall or mini mall, a subdivision, whatever. And by law, they have to either give us money per lot or square footage if it's a building or property for recreation usage for the township. So I'm the guy that reviews the plans and makes the decision on one of them what they should do. And then the money gets distributed amongst the parks and the rail trail and the Again, to get your bearings, we'll be crossing Center Street in Whitehall. We'll be going from uh, downtown Stiles to uptown Hockendakwa. Hockendakwa is another company town founded by the Thomas Ironworks. Now, if you cross the street, if you look to your right, my left, this homestead was purchased by Matt Millen a number of years ago. Matt, the big case you don't know, was up until two, three weeks ago, president of the Detroit Lions football team. And uh, he didn't actually live in there. That was for his parents. He was born and raised on the other side of Hockendorfer. And, and uh, what he did is, after his parents moved out, they got older and they were, had to move out in the care facility. He subdivided that property and gave quite a bit of it to us, the rail trail and the township. So now that is a conservancy or a preserve, or like we like to think of as a buffer for any development. So now we have this nice little pristine area along the top of the street that's ours. And uh, we have future plans to put high rises. I mean, uh, <laughs> our major trail and some picket trenches and so forth along the street. Donation. We have a memorial stone down here which he dedicated to Harry and Elizabeth Millen, his parents. So he's a very unselfish, very generous person. And this is the Barclay Village. These people just love living here because of the recreational opportunity. It's kind of hard to see the little stone monument here, but if you walk it, you see it. And that's 
parents, made for his parents, for Harry and Elizabeth. Here, Dr. and Mrs. Tate did the same thing. They donated the land they, that they owned between the creek and the trail to the township. And we have a commemorative stone for him also down there, for he and his wife. He got top dollar for this land. So he had a nice profit there, and then he donated this land here, which is a tax write-off. Okay? That was a win for him. And it was a win for us also, because we have all this land in its natural state along the trail. Now well, we have almost a half a mile total of the buffer that are on the west side of the trail at this point. And here's the uh, memorial for Dr. and Mrs. Tate with the park bench. Paul Garden and Beautification Club had plans to put some pads through the uh, conservancies with some park benches and some flowers and that stuff. It's going to be a nice meditative path to walk. It'll be really nice. It'll stick you up. <laughs> My wife's Italian. Are you kidding me? <laughs> On your right, we're passing the Nickley Weaver Homestead, purchased from William Penn also. Again, this was purchased by a farmer, and he had a quarry in back of his place, which the township uses right now for storage. But he used to burn the limestone into lime to provide fertilizer to the local community, to the farmers. And then when the Thomas Iron Works started up, they needed limestone in the iron processing, iron making processing. So he had that business. And then when the cement industry started up, well then they brought heavy equipment in and they started mining his farm. He did real good, real well with that. Real entrepreneur. And the cement that came out of that quarry was shipped over to the Atlas Cement Company to make it this cement. It's a hydraulic cement that sets, that sets underneath the water. So that's what they use in the Panama Canal system. The Panama Canal is built with cement right from the start, right in this area. Along with the bridge supports, the Golden Gate, the support of the Statue of Liberty, and all the great structures in the world. Yeah, right, right here in Lehigh, North Western County. Now we're passing one of the many parks that Whitehall has. It's the Hakadaka Park and Playground. Before we pass the uh, park view pool, the pool, one of four pools in a, in, a, in a township. This is Arlington Knowles over here. You want to get your bearings, it's a nice community. Okay, you start to go. All right, we're coming up on the Lehigh Street Bridge, and uh, just to give you a rough idea, we spent about $1.3 million improving the infrastructure on the Arlington Rail Trail. And people ask me about where does that money come from. The financing's from two sources. Not from the township, believe it or not, just very, very little. Over here. Most of it comes from either the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation or the Pennsylvania Department of Conservation yeah. and Natural you Resources me, through thing. grants. And Ray and I and a couple other people get together and we write grants for money. And we did this with the bridge in here and now we put in a thirty to sixty thousand dollar book bridge. But since the bridge crosses Lehigh Street and Lehigh Street the Penn Dot Road or Penn actually Penn Dot Highway, we had to follow and got design guidelines and standards. So that thirty to sixty thousand dollar footprint cost us a half a million dollars. But there's a benefit to it. We wouldn't be having this trolley tour if it weren't for that new bridge, because if it was just a footbridge, we wouldn't be able to drive across it. So now we're able to take 